guys, and welcome to episode number four of the MSFS Flight Training Series, part four of eight. Uh, today, we're learning how to land. So, um, you know, last episode, we did some takeoff, and then we learned how to use trim. I'm not awesome at the trim yet. Uh, still need to figure that out a little bit. Again, I'm using an Xbox controller, so maybe not the most precise way of doing it, but, you know, pretty good. Apparently, this one only takes four minutes, so it doesn't look like we're going to be uh, actually doing much in this tutorial, probably literally just landing, um, so we're going to be approaching a 65 knots by the looks of it, and yeah, it'll be a bit of a rough landing, again, I'm still learning how to use what is quite a sensitive Xbox controller, um, obviously all small planes are very, I've never actually flown this with an airliner, I'm going to have to fly the Xbox controller with an airliner and give you an idea on that, but um, obviously smaller planes are very sensitive, I know that from flying with a yoke as well. Um, if you remember from, uh, well, just my VFR series in FSX, uh, very sensitive. But here we are in the sim, and there's the airport. So we're going to pick the plane down a little bit. Just going to trim it down a little bit. There you go. Gonna trim the plane down a little bit. We're on the glide slope. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. What do you mean by follow the glide slope? There is no glide slope anywhere. You want to keep it steady in your sights. Um, but remember, we have got Pappy lights. We're gonna follow them. Pappy lights work a lot better in this sim than they do in the other one. Um, you can see them better. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. What windscreen? I don't know what she means by glide slope. Am I being thick? I can't see a glide slope anywhere. Do these things even have glide slopes? I didn't know they did. Oh, flaps for landing. I thought we already did. She said it was in landing configuration or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't, we're going to use the Pappy lights for our approach. I don't see, I don't, this thing doesn't have any nav equipment on it, does it? So, I don't know what she means by glide slope, but I don't, don't think about a number. But I so said, we'll, we'll be following uh, the Pappy lights, because they're probably a more accurate way of doing it in a little plane like this, when you can't actually see the instruments, because uh, I don't know what instruments she's pointing out. I, I can only see a compass in front of me, and an attitude indicator, a clock, an altitude. I don't see anything to do with nav. Um, but as I said, we have Pappy lights. So right now we have four whites. We're looking for two white, two red. Red means we're too low. White means we're too high. On the runway threshold. So you can see, there we go. Feet above the runway. <coughs> it's time to flare. So now we're actually a little bit too low. The threshold. Shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Give it a little bit more power. Pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. So we're a little bit low again now. Uh, just need to wait for the Pappy lights to go back. That's how they were. Needs to give it a little bit more power. So, I don't know, typically in the Cessna 152, I don't think you would do a full flaps landing, but, you know, the tutorial wanted me to. We're past the threshold, but still a bit high. Keep reducing altitude. I'm not high. It even says there, altitude too low. That's great. Obviously, the tips are turned on because this is a tutorial. I don't want them on, but whatever. Let the plane settle onto the runway. So, yeah, that's how you fly, but that's how you land one of these. You let it glide onto the runway. Uh, so we'll just do a night. Oh, not, not that that was the best of landings, but it was alright. And we'll use the brakes, and that's it, really. That is it. This is like the world's shortest episode. <laughs> that's it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use the plane the next day. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice. After all, that's what we're here for, right? But anyway, that is it, guys, uh, for this episode. I know this one was probably very, very short. I didn't realise how short this tutorial would actually be. Um, but there we go, that is it. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!